Back to work, back to work. Bye, ma! Maayong atlaw! It's Tuesday, August 22. I hope you guys had fun with the eclipse yesterday. I did not see it. I'm not even sure what time that started. Actually, there was a moment last night when I was kind of a little bit excited to go back to work, but not this morning. But let's change that attitude. Let's change it. 6.48. 6.48? Here, it's already 6.59. Anyway, I'm, I better go and I'll see you later. I'm here! The drive was painful. The whole ride here, I was just listening to love songs. And you know, love songs are singable songs. And you can just imagine what singing does to me. No? Also, this week, I'm really poor. Thing bits, you know. My mom has to take care of me. <laughs> ha! Ha! Wake up! Positivity, come to me! I'll just... I'll do my best to be energetic and happy today. Let's make our own happiness. Let's find something to smile about, to laugh about. Anyway, let's, let's see how my day goes today. As per usual, unlocking the doors time. We just got a package. <laughs> I spy with my little eye a cutie walking around the area. I'm hungry. It's 9:30 and I'm starving. I am once again in the cardiology department. And she's gonna perform to the echo on me. We'll start with that. No, no, later pa. <laughs> it's 11 12. I did not do anything today. But she is busy. Because she's in the education committee and they have a seminar tomorrow. So that was lunchtime done. I had pork steak and I think I have too much pork that I'm craving for soft drinks at the moment. Mountain Dew! Chuka chuka Dew! to undergo to the echo. I have a pillow. That's good. But I'm amazing. I really don't know if I still have a heart. So, um, to the echo with Doppler cost 3500 and I just got it for free. Well, I had my heart checked and it wasn't broken. My heart is fine. It's doing its job. I got to nap on a work day. 
Isn't that just perfect? But I really want to have an MRI. I hope they will want to test their MRI if they haven't already. I hope that they will. And I hope they choose me. I want an MRI. Actually, Miss Lisa will be going home with me later because we both live somewhere in the north. I haven't done this in four days. The lessons of the day. I think my lesson, not just for the day, is you should be quick to forgive. I'm very hormonal right now, and so there are so many things going in my head that I probably sh should not think about anymore. And I'm bitter about and sometimes regret regretful. But the thing is, I'm okay now. I'm okay now because I somehow manage to train myself to forgive quickly. Like really quickly. Maybe that's why my heart is okay. My heart will go on. Then as much as I keep telling everybody to be happy, to create your own happiness, to find it within yourself or whatever, I think that it's also important to allow yourself to have a bad day. Just as long as you know how to overcome it and and be in a bad mood without compromising your relationship with, with the people around you, I think it's fine. But I really do believe that laughter is the best medicine. I've read in a book somewhere that says, laugh and laugh often. And when situation calls for silence, turn that laugh into a smile. <sighs> Life talks after knowing that my heart is not broken. I'm hungry. It's 4.35 and I'm hungry. And so, I raided their pantry. Found these. And guava jelly. She's my passenger today. Hi! Hello! Hi. Miss Lisa and Gail. <laughs> my passengers. I'm home! Um, actually, I had Miss Lisa and Gail ride with me on the way home today. And I found out some stuff. Well, they're not very good stuff. They're kind of like bad stuff. Negative stuff. Um, gossip. So I'm not gonna share it because it's not worth it. But it made me realize something. It made me realize that there will always be people who will be critical of you, who will judge you before they even met you, or who will have something to say about you, even though you don't exactly deserve it, or they don't exactly have any right to say anything about it. But that's fine. The lesson today, for me, is to not put too much stock on what other people say about you. As long as you know for yourself who you are, what they say does not matter. I mean, yeah, it does matter. To be completely honest, what other people say about you will affect how you see yourself. And, and that's true. But you don't have to let them control you. You don't have to be who they tell you to be. You know, I mean, you don't have to be, you don't have to do anything to please anybody. You just have to be a good person and know it for yourself that you are and, and just continue doing your thing. If they misunderstand what you're doing and your intentions, it's really not your problem anymore. It's inevitable for other people to judge you because in the same way, we also judge other people. What matters is what you do about the judgments that you make. It's very natural to judge somebody else by their action, by their words, by everything about them. But you don't have to always voice it out, especially if your judgment or your opinions about someone are not complimentary. You need to shut it if you don't have anything nice to say. As for somebody who's constantly being, been misjudged, like for, for majority of my life, I have one 
thing to say like always choose your battles not every battle has to be fought not all battles are worth it that was it for my tuesday back at work it was good but actually every day is a good day for me anyway ich bin glücklich hier see you again bye